Riveting content, empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by True Digital Media Consulting. You're online right now and so are your customers, but marketing has to be a consistent journey. True Digital Media Consulting can help with your online ads, organic growth, and so much more. Contact us today at 832-934-4436 or visit our website at truedigitalmediaconsulting.com. Smile Design Studios. Smile Design Studios, family and cosmetic dentistry offers numerous treatments meant to maintain, heal, and customize your smile. Call us today at 281-969-7388 or visit our website at www.sdshouston.com. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertiseatthesphere.tv or call us at area code 832-772-7789. Hey, yo, what's good, my peeps? And welcome to Startup Masters. I'm your host, Kalia Guillory. You can catch me at kogpassion.com. And boy, am I happy you decided to tune in to our show today. That's right. If you are considering starting a business or if you have a business and perhaps uh, your initiatives have grown stale and you're looking to rejuvenate a bit, you come to the right channel. We have the dopest guest, the riveting content, everything you need to get you out of that valley and onto the peak. I'm so excited. I hope you got your pen and pad ready because I know my co host, G, is going to drop some additional gems along with the guests so that you can you can supersede your expectations on what your differentiators are for your business you better say that i supersede. better say that i heard you, I heard you. <laughs> what's up good people welcome back to startup masters i'm your co-host gary lee also known as g hawkins of course you can find me anywhere online facebook instagram twitter snapchat at g hawkins that's g hawkins with a z now remember you come to the best place when we're talking entrepreneurship we have this content this show so that, as KG loves to say, you don't have to skin that knee up to the white knee. We have these these gems dropped at the table so you can stop by and pluck those things right up, hold on to them, and implement. That's the biggest word of the day, folks, <laughs> like Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> implement those <laughs> strategies into your business. Because a lot of times we get knowledge that we sit on that never gets implemented. And that type of knowledge isn't powerful. Come it's on, about G. the applied knowledge. Shout out to Tony Sanders over there at Houston Housewives of Finance. She taught me that Come on, supply knowledge, knowledge that's powerful so we've got an action-packed show for you i'm excited because it's always great to have someone in the building that's doing things that i've silently but not silently low-key as some people like to call it low-key like the bottom lock has had conversations with friends and family members about when it comes to owning real estate when it comes to building a portfolio and having that financial legacy that you can pass on to other generations we're talking generational wealth folks come on so when it comes to that things you think of companies like nidia capital you think of Kyria property management you think of those type of companies folks and guess what We've got the founder and CEO on for those companies today. None other than Swapnil Agarval. Swapnil, what's up, man? Woo! Thank you. Thank you for a great introduction. Thank you, Gary. I've, it's a pleasure being here, and I'm looking forward to the show. Yeah, I'm just happy to have you. You know, I've been over here practicing that intro in my head. Now, I didn't I didn't went <laughs> through it a few it. times. You nailed it. I didn't went th and, then I, and then I ad-libbed it. I just, a 10. <laughs> there it is. I'll take that you know, with a great dive. All right, I'm here. But the purpose of this show, one, is to have fun, obviously, as you can see by, by what we're doing. But two is to empower. And what we want to do is take people on that magical roller coaster, that journey that you've been on, and talk about where you've come from, where you're at today. And then, of course, we want to talk about that 5, 10, 20-year plan. 
You ready to take that journey with us? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, folks, for those that are tuned in right now, you're on Facebook Live. Hey, Monique, we see you. Hey, Kamisha, we see you. Make sure y'all hit the share button. Share it out. Just put a little verbiage in there. Share this thing out so other entrepreneurs know that the show is on. And remember, we're only on for 15, 20 minutes. So if you got any questions that pop up, make sure you get those questions asked right in chat so we can get Swapna to answer those things for you. So let's hop in this DeLorean. Let's hit 88 miles an hour. We're going back in the time like Marty McFly. Tell us what was going on in your life. What was going on in your environment when you said, I need to build up career property management? What was going on? Well, just like 99% uh, of the population in this world, I was uh, working uh, in corporate America. I was working for somebody else. And I've always had this entrepreneurial urge to to build a business, to build a platform where not only we're trying to make money, but also trying to improve people's lives. Mm. Uh, just a bit of background about myself. You know, I grew up if in a very small town with very humble beginnings in, in a small part of India. And I came here as a young teenager with literally $3 in my pocket. Grew up in Ailey Fair, not too far down where the office is right now. Yeah, the SWAT, as uh, they like to be called. Yes. I got property out of the SWAT. Mm -hmm. One time for the So, <laughs> went to high school here. I, li I grew up in, in a pretty rundown apartment complex, and I saw the, you know, the amenities, the services, the, the security, the crime that existed uh, in, in, in these apartment complexes where, you know, just growing up, you know, going through your day was a challenge in itself and making sure that you come home safe was a big task mm. uh so i i thought that why don't i why don't i combine uh those two aspects where i can grow do a business but also improve people's lives and and i thought that w why not own apartment complexes and provide these services and amenities that a lot of these apartment complexes in town lack and with that thoughts and mindset i embarked on this journey and i've been quite fortunate enough that where we are we are today but a lot of hard work, a lot of risk taking, a uh, lot of um, you know, a lot of great luck from from the Almighty up there went into this, and that's part of the reason. I mean, the, the hard work, integrity, a little bit of luck, and uh, risk taking ability is what you need uh, to start a business like this. Yeah, sounds like it. And one of the biggest things I heard, I'm sure you heard it, KG, mm -hmm. is that you did it not because, not just because of Come financial on. gain. Mm, yeah, absolutely. but you did this to sow back into those, which is clientele, and provide better opportunities and resources. It was a win-win for you. You were focused on the relationship currency. That's Come on, relationship I'm just saying, currency. I just like to throw it out Come there. On. Come you, on. Come on. Because you teach me so Come much, Come on. KG. No, no, no. So when I hear we, it. We're teaching each other, yeah, bro. exactly. I hear it. I pick up on it now. But, but in doing that, obviously, there were some calamities. There were some pitfalls. <laughs> there were some mistakes. Talk about some of those initial things that occurred when, you, when you're saying, okay, I want to bring this to yes. life. Yes. What kind of roadblocks did you run into? I mean, a whole lot, right? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> well, first of all, I mean, the biggest roadblock is is not exterior or something that exists in the outside world. Mm. A lot of the roadblock is mentally mm. inside you. Come on, Swap right? Mill. Yes. So, you know, you here you are. I got a newborn kid coming. I got a wife, got parents to support. And all of a sudden, you say, look, I'm going to give all that up. That paycheck security, as they call it, that mm -hmm. paycheck that comes every Stability. two weeks. Stability. Mm -hmm. And you're going to embark on this journey where you don't know when your next paycheck is coming. Yeah. I mean, that's your first roadblock is how do you overcome that mental block? 99% mm. of the people in America or in the world want to have their own business. Only 1% end up doing it because they're just, they can't overcome that, that risk or that paycheck security. After I was able to overcome that risk, then here I am. Okay, look, I want to buy an apartment complex. That's let's say my first apartment complex was 1.3 million. You know, I was doing well, but I didn't have the money to buy that. Sure. Now I'm trying to present. I'm trying to find an opportunity. So okay, look, this is a great opportunity. Let's buy it. Then I got to convince the investors to invest in that opportunity, and then I got to invest lenders to lo lend against it. Now my net worth is nowhere close to what I needed to be to buy those mm -hmm. real estate assets. So I got to convince the lender, look, trust me on this. I can execute it. And there's a word, what's your experience like? My experience in the finance side. 
Okay. I'm not sitting at the properties, running the properties at the ground level. Sure. So I got to demonstrate and portray to these lenders that, look, I can do is I have the team ready to do it. And then I got to convince the investors to invest money alongside me. Right. And then I got to find employees because, look, let's face it. Right. I mean, I didn't have too much capital to hire more employees and pay them. So I, I need to convince employees to take that leap of faith to come along on this ride, this journey with me and say, look, if we are successful, then trust in me that I'll take care of you guys. So every, all the chips have to fall in place. Mm -hmm. You know, all these things have to line up. And I was fortunate enough that I was able to get the investors. I was able to find a, a lender that trusted me. And I was able to find key employees that took this leap of faith and joined me in this journey. Nice. Well, and perhaps <coughs> we have some listeners who are listening thinking, man, I really want to get out there and do it. I'm mm. past, I, I can get past my nine to five, but I want to go out there and jump. Can you share with them perhaps a lesson that you learned from having to navigate, overcome adversity with really identifying your key employees? Yes and or investors because i'm willing to bet that the first time you went out to raise this money you perhaps had a couple of investors that said yeah no no thank you like give us a yeah. if, if you could just share like an actual sure. story that that might be able to yeah. to to definitely yeah i think uh i think that the key is uh is that the grind the hustle mm -hmm. right you you gotta be ready to hustle and grind mm -hmm. you know i mean a lot of times i would go to a lender and you know, went to a lot of local lenders because no, none of the national level lenders would ever look at this because it's first of all, the size is too small. I'm a newcomer. Uh, and I hope you got that. Yeah, and uh, hopefully a lot of these lenders and, you know, you go there, you walk in. First of all, it's hard to get appointments with them and you walk in and they look at you it's like, are you serious? And there's plenty of people telling you that this is not the right business, right? I mean, You'll find one person that say, okay, this is a good idea, but then you'll find 10 <laughs> that will say it's not a good yeah, idea. Abort. You left right. your corporate right. job to do this? Abort. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So my, my business, my, my idea was to focus on older apartment complexes, which are good value for money, located at great locations. Where, so let's say three miles from Galleria, but you're still affordable, good value for money. Mm -hmm. I said, look, I'm, I'm serving this need because 90% of the population in America is full of this middle class, lower middle class, blue collar tenant base that needs good housing, right? Everybody focuses on nice, shiny, bright buildings in downtown and Galleria, but really that's not where the mass live. Mm. Masses live in these these apartment complexes the that's true. where your rents are six to eight hundred dollars a month. That's true. The masses aren't living right? at the Kirby collection. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. three thousand, exactly. whatever. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> exactly. Kirby collection. I like it. Uh, so then you have people telling you why this, these are older apartment complexes. You're going to have a lot of maintenance issues. You're going to have plumbing issues. How are you going to fix all that? What's your background? Don't do it. It's the worst idea I've ever heard. Uh, same thing with investors. You know. Just raising 50000 from an investor was a huge challenge. You know, I mean, I'm putting everything online. I'm getting my friends and family that I feel very close to. They turned me down a lot of times because, look, they're like, what's your experience? So you mentally, you got to be prepared to hear rejection, hmm. right? That, that's the biggest takeaway. You got to be ready to hear rejection. And how you bounce back hearing from rejection, your ability to stand back on your feet and N tomorrow is a brand new day. You got to go back out there and try it all over again. I mean, that was a worry within itself, mm. right? Because uh, going back to talking about people were telling you have one person for every one person that said yes, you had uh, ten other people saying no. Yes, that's within itself. That's us saying that we need to stop sharing the visions that we have in our head to people who don't have the capacity to understand Ooh, our greatness. Give it a talk bandwidth. Ooh. Bandwidth they greatness. Don't, they don't I don't have you. our bandwidth greatness oh, on. because no one can measure our grit. No one measure your grit. But you know that. But you, I, I completely understand and agree with what you said. But when you're going through that phase, you are trying to find people to support that idea. Mm. Yeah. Right. So even though you know that there's going to be people distracting, saying no, but you want sympathy. You want to say yes, good idea, do it. Totally. Right? Emotion. Yes. You, you <laughs> need emotional support. You need financial support. So as long, even though you don't want to share it, you say, look, I believe I have the conviction in doing it. You end up doing sharing these ideas because ultimately you're looking for emotional support and financial support. You get either or you're happy. Mm -hmm. Right. Totally. But end of the day, if you share it and they say, no, you got to have conviction in yourself and your idea and your passion that, look, even I understand many people will say no, but I'm still going to do it. Right. Because 
everybody goes in herd mentality. Everybody only does it if somebody else is doing mm-hmm. it, right? You got to be able to go against you the tide. You just need that one person to say yes and then you the got, rest yeah, will come. You got to go against the tide. Yeah. Totally. But you know something you don't have to go against the tide on? Marketing. <laughs> and just perhaps that this, it's just special that this section of the show is sponsored by our good friends over at True Digital. You're online right now, and so are your customers. The question is, how do you actively reach them? Marketing has to be a consistent journey, and we're here to walk with you every step of the way. True Digital Media Consulting can help with website development, online ads, your business reputation, and organic growth on search engines. Give us a call today to discuss a customized strategy for your business at 832-934-4436, or send us an email to info at truedigitalmediaconsulting.com. Mention the sphere to receive a free, I said it, free 30-minute strategy consultation. Give our boy a call. Reem over there doing his theme. Doing his theme. He's also doing his theme on Boom Bap. The boy's so. killing it, man. Shout out to Mario. I see you in the building tuned in. And we do have a question from Monique. Monique says, what are your suggested top three recommendations for finding those key employees when starting up what do you think swap now i think the number one uh <clears throat> aspect that you need to look for in that employee is uh trustworthiness mm. uh you know our, our, my my chief operating officer of caria is uh is my closest friend from 20 years ago uh, a lot of people say don't mix business with friendship but i i follow the opposite because he had no background in real estate but i knew that i could trust him Number two is he's a person of high caliber, high, in, high integrity. And third, he's a hardworking guy. Mm-hmm. So if you have those three attributes that a person has, learning a business or learning a new industry is not that difficult. I mean, I could teach you, I could teach you skill. Come I on. can't teach you will. Yes. Woo. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so true. I can't do, I mean, yeah. I can't make you do it. I can't at all. I could show you how to do it, though. Yes. Yeah, that was a good question. Uh, yeah, it was a great question. Shout out to Monique. Thank you so much for that. Anybody else have any questions, drop them in. We're going to roll Facebook Live for another three or four minutes, but I just want to make sure that uh, we get all questions answered that do pop up. So let's talk about today, Swapno. When someone goes um, to Kyria and they check out the website, what kind of product services can they expect to get from you? What all, what all do you bring to the table? So Nitya Capital and Karya Property Management uh, is a fully vertically integrated real estate platform. Okay. And what I mean by that is we we identify new opportunities, we buy assets. Sure. We do our own property management. So we have, you know, a fi- staff of 500 employees that ranges from, you know, maintenance staff, on-site leasing professionals, managers, then corporate employees that include you know, C- chief executive officer, chief financial officer, marketing department, finance department, asset management department, accounting department. Mm-hmm. And then we have our own construction company as well. So when we buy these assets, obviously what our, what our business plan typically entails is buying these assets and improving the physical and operational attributes of that asset. So when we go, we buy in day one, we're improving the leasing office. We're putting, making sure the security gates are working. We're putting in 24 hour surveillance. We are making sure the parking lots are in good condition. We put in a playground for the kids. We put in a fitness center. We put in a business center. And then in terms of the individual apartments, we upgrade them fully. You know, we put in new wood floors. We put in granite countertops, kitchen backsplash, stainless steel appliances, and so forth. Very nice. That's very, very yeah. nice. So what made you decide to, to provide a turnkey platform mm-hmm. versus being one module of this why did you go that route and not sub out other other items yeah because there's a lot of other people that are doing that Mm -hmm. Uh, so when i'm going to my investor i said look i would um you know give me your invest in my company sure and i'll make you returns they say okay great there's 10 other people asking me for my money what is making you different Mm -hmm. so i said look if i if if i'm going to add value to uh, to what I'm doing, I want to have control over everything I do, right? I could sub out property management, I could hire a construction company, but then there's really no value I'm adding, mm. right? I'm trying to add value to my investors. That's my fiduciary duty that if somebody is giving me their hard-earned money to invest and manage, I got to make sure that I make them good, decent returns. Right. And the only way I can do that if I have my 
things in my control and my own employees working on it. The full ecosystem. That's the Apple model, yeah. folks. I mean, that's the full I ecosystem. Hope, I hope some people are tuned in. Looks like we got some new new viewers. Bashur Majid is in. Kathy Maxi is in. Um, De, uh, Depika is in. Uh, uh, and that last name looks like your last name. Good, sir. Uh, um, that's my wife. Oh, oh hey. hi, wife. <laughs> Hello, wife. <laughs> <laughs> so you got some people tuned in. And, and once again, thank you all so much. Because they just hopped in, let's take it a little bit longer on Facebook simply because I want to continue the conversation. I want them to have an opportunity to dive in with us as well. Let's so, talk a little bit more about that ROI. So yeah. Where you want to go. I mean, you know, well, I mean, well, well, of, of I mean, course, you know, the, the return on investment is very important Absolutely. and and how do you and obviously without details per se but what's the typical structure like when you are working with investors are they looking for a 36 a month return at some particular percentage point yes. or are you talking more long-term investors who are looking for things over a 10 20 year period yes i think uh, the our business model is very cash flow focused okay so we are not buying an asset let's say for a hundred dollars and saying in five years going to be worth 200 sure so we're eliminating the market risk out of it completely what we're saying is we buy something for hundred dollars i'm going to make sure that everybody makes at least ten dollars in income per year okay so at least you're making ten percent return per year and let's say even after five years we're able to sell it for hundred dollars at least everybody had made one and a half they times their investment yeah gotcha. so right? it's one and a half times so we are eliminating the market risk because as we know it Everything in this market, stock market, real estate, everything is cyclical, right? Oil prices, they yep. go up and down, they totally. go up and down. But the reason I decided to focus on, on this uh, platform is twofold. One, because I could relate to it, because I could see growing up in this kind of uh, an asset class, a lot of services and amenities were ringing, we could improve people's lives. Mm. And second is this, everybody needs housing, especially people who are making thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year they need a place to live. And especially with Texas and Houston, you got a lot of population growth happening. You got 150,000 people moving to Houston every year, right? That, that's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. They all need a place to live. So you're serving that need. So like for example, last three, four years when Houston was going through a supposedly downturn, all the prices were down, they weren't creating enough jobs, occupancies of our apartment complex stayed quite high because people always need a place to live. Yeah. That's the reason I decided to focus on these two. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. hey, turnkey. Come on. With talk, ROI. Come on, talk about first it. First year, you're guaranteed to get one and a half times you, your... You are uh, working through that over time. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a long-term strategy. And yeah. what I also caught was that you go in initially and you're already doing a rehab. So you're yes. not waiting. No. You're not waiting for set returns to come in then do yes. the rehab. You're doing it from day one. We're very, day. very cash flow focused. Yeah. We are saying that no matter what happens, everybody's going to make at least 10% return per year. Which is great if you look in this current market because if you have the cash and bank, you're making 0.01% interest. Yes, let yeah. <laughs> me talk about it. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> right. Um, what I do want to get to, though, because obviously you're very focused on making sure all of these entities are working together simultaneously to provide this experience for those that are your clientele, mm -hmm. as well as to provide returns from from all of your investors, and I'm assuming the company's still private. Yes. So you've got to you've got to make sure that that's taken care of. What are, what's that return on investment like for self? What are you doing internally outside of the business to sew back in the self? That way you can stay grounded. That way you can stay focused when it's time to step into the boardroom with your CEO, COO and all the other components of your board to make sure things are rolling right. Absolutely. So when I started this business, I think my goal was to create a win-win-win model. And what I mean by that is it, when you start a business, you're not starting a business to make profit. Profit as, is the end result. It's a byproduct. It's a right? byproduct of <laughs> it's about, you know, It's about the service you provide. Yes. The reason I wanted to start this business is to improve people's lives. Talk about so it. So what we are doing differently than anybody else is we are trying to make sure. So we have 15,000 apartment complexes today, 15,000 units. We have 15,000 families living in product that we own that's, that's all over the country all over texas texas right now and that's you know you say about two people per family minimum you have thirty thousand people plus that call your properties home right a lot of these people that we live in our apartment complex we're trying to improve their lives what mm -hmm. we're doing by that we're providing free english classes 
nice. to a lot of the people, everybody that lives there. We partnered with an organization called Be a Champion, which provides free meals to every kid in our properties during the whole summer. We, we partnered with an organization called Ro uh, Rose Group that does free mammogram for women. Uh, they come to your properties and they do a mammogram for you. Nice. We provide free immigration help because a lot of the tenants that live in our apartment complexes need immigration help. We, we, we partner with top lawyers around town. They come out and give free immigration help. Very nice. We partnered with a lot of doctors, top cardiologists in town. We do free health checkups for, for every tenant that we have. This is, doesn't cost us a lot of money, but what it does is it helps our tenants call our properties home. Loyalty. They truly, right? Listen. They, we're, train, we're trying to create communities, not, not houses. We're trying to create homes, yeah. not houses. Right? You know what's interesting about that mm -hmm. is that you have literally, literally created a people-centric approach to your yes. business model. Yes. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't really understand that. They don't. That. I heard the triple win earlier. You, he it's said It's a triple it. win. He's, and the people don't, business owners, they need to hold on to that concept. It's so important. That's because, I mean, the new model is collaboration. The old model is competition. And There's that's what I mean. That partnership, you got me excited about yeah. it. Like I could vision. I saw. I saw yeah. someone coming in, and they could get a mammogram. They got yeah. free lunch for the kids yes. in the summertime. You know how many posts we see over the summertime? Oh, these kids are eating me out of the yes. house at home. Yes, we provide free swimming classes for every kid. I mean, a lot of these small things. And when you talk about, you know, when I walk in that boardroom with my other executives, you know, what's our ROI? My ROI is. Are investors making return on their capital? Mm -hmm. Are our tenants happy living in our apartments? And finally, are, are our employees growing professionally and personally while working for us? You know, working in corporate America for 12 plus years, I mean, I realized exactly what not to do when I was doing my business. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. right? I mean, you got, people are your <laughs> biggest asset. It's, it's a good training. Yeah. <laughs> people <laughs> are the biggest asset that we have. You got to treat them right. We don't own anything else. We own, we own, we, we have to make sure that employees we have work as a team, work as a family. So we were, we create an environment and culture that everybody feels that they're coming not to work for myself or the owners, they're coming to work for themselves. They have a lot of freedom in terms of doing what they want to do. Mm -hmm. Obviously we have tasks to do and work to be done, but it's that they're feeling that they're adding value to the growth of this company. I love it. I mean, how, Come on. I mean, Maybe forget you go work there. I mean, attrition. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm willing to bet that no one leaves and that from an economic standpoint, yeah. your rent is paid on the third. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no lates. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, why would, could, they're helping me out. Loyalty. Loyalty. Speaking of loyalty. Speaking of it. Well, this particular, <laughs> and I don't even think I have it. I think it's on you for number two. Well, you know what? Let me do this, right? Because uh, I've been extending this you over have. time, That's and I've given uh, a lot of extra. We have. Facebook Livers, I love y'all. I support y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning in, but I can't go Facebook Live the whole show. <laughs> but guess what? You can download this when we're done. You've got to go subscribe. So head over to Sphere.tv forward slash startup masters we've got a couple of options for you you can download directly from itunes google play soundcloud youtube stitcher spreaker iHeartRadio, spotify we're even on your amazon alexa right there in your kitchen so you can find us anywhere and everywhere podcasts are listened to or are watched since we are a video first podcast also make sure you share this out share with your find sh with, share with your friends your family your loved ones your colleagues share with anyone you know that has a desire to get more information surrounding great entrepreneurship and the gems that coincide with this thing and also give us a constructive criticism we need to continue to build a better show for you so let us know how we're doing hit those stars those likes those dislikes that way we can continue to build great content to deliver each and every week and last but not least if you truly love what we're doing so a seed go over to sphere.tv forward slash donate we've got a couple of options you can donate one time right on the website and we like to give great things to those who donate and of course if you uh, truly are involved with with what the community we're building then you can be a patreon based donator get on a subscription model and we're going to get some exclusive content and other goodies that are just for you so show's not ending folks but facebook livers we love you make sure you're subscribed right here at the sphere so, Swabno, keeping this thing going, talk a little bit about your creative space. When you're outside of the office, when you're not in the boardroom, when you're not doing a property visit, right, or owner's visit, 
you're not looking at anything real page yardy any other applications on site blue moon any mm. other partnerships that you're aware of that you're working through what are you doing to keep your mind sharpened and fresh when you need to create new opportunities uh i i do a lot of meditation okay uh it helps me focus uh i'm a big sports guy so i am very competitive so when i see other athletes competitive people in nature it helps me if I am distracted, I get fo back to focusing on my business. Uh, and, you know, ultimately, I, I don't look at it as, as just a real estate platform. Sure. You know, our company is a fully integrated operating company. So not only we, we offer a product, which is a real estate, you know, we, we offer ser every service surrounded it, right? So we have, we're creating our own software that could replace Yardi and RealPage nice. one time. Uh, we are working in a healthcare space where, again, we are looking at the assets that serves the needs of the majority of the population, sure. right? So real estate is one thing. We're working on a software, we're working on healthcare. Uh, but, you know, like you said, when you are passionate about doing something you really believe in, uh, the sharpness of mind comes automatically. I don't think you have to consciously uh, think about sharpening your mind it just it just comes naturally because you're constantly thinking about what can i do better how can i improve my returns how can i make my tenants lives better how can mm -hmm. i improve the housing what can i do for my employees so you're constantly thinking about it it doesn't come so you know you don't have to really think about it it's just it's very natural at that stage what are you doing for fun? For fun? <laughs> yeah. Right. What is? What did you do yesterday? Did you yeah. Did you labor on Labor Day or did you do something fun? Yeah, I, I you know I have uh, I have a f five year old son and a wife and parents. So any free time I get, I to play with my son, play some basketball with him. He's a great piano player. So oh, we, nice. I listen and listen and play piano and sing and he sings. Uh, and I'm a big sports fan. So you know, I'm a big Astros, or Rockets, and Texans fan. I'm a Houstonian. Uh, George Springer is our brand ambassador. Deshaun Watson of the Texans is our brand ambassador. So, you know, I watch, play a lot of sports. I work out uh, and, you know, just spend time with the family. Did you notice when we talked about fun? Mm -hmm. I mean, you smiled the whole time. <laughs> lit the studio <laughs> up. Not the LEDs, no, but smile. The, the whole <laughs> smile. Like, yes. we could have turned the lights down. Yeah. <laughs> and a smile is very important when it comes to being a business owner, even a professional, because that's the first thing that people see. Absolutely. So if you're not confident in a smile, you might want to listen to this next part of our show that is sponsored by our friends at Smile Design Studios. Smile Design Studios Family and Cosmetic Dentistry offers numerous treatments meant to maintain, heal, and customize your smile. If you are not sure what you need, don't worry. Dr. Ellis and her team are happy to meet with you to go over your patient history and goals and offer you professional recommendations. Let Smile Design Studios make you smile. Call us today at 281 nine six nine seven three eight eight or check out our website at www.sdshouston.com to schedule your appointment today all new patients receive a free gift and 50 off let me say it again 50 off your first dental treatment smile design studios looks forward to providing excellent care for you and your family Shout out to Dr. Ellis. You can also check her out on Docs. Yeah, she's on the in. network. She's definitely getting in. Now, Swapno, obviously, you all have a lot of a lot going on. Fifteen thousand tenants, uh, or units rather, and you know that's thirty thousand plus people, perhaps yes. that you're making sure their lives are increased day by day with the services that you offer, as well as the way you all maintain the properties that that are in your control. But that's today. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about tomorrow. Where do you see Caria moving by the year 2025, 2030? Where do, you, where do you see the capital business that you were creating and some of these other entities and modules that you're trying to bring online? What's that vision like? Uh, it's a very big vision. I'm a dreamer and I think without vision, then it's, uh, there's no point of doing anything. Uh, we are buying our first asset outside of Texas in Salt Lake City. Congrats. Uh, thank you. Yeah. And so my vision in the next three years, I would say, is to go nationwide. So we'd like to own assets in, you know, other states such as, you know, Utah and Atlanta, Georgia, Florida, Colorado. Uh, 
and then ultimately by 2025, you know, we're looking at it, you know, we're hoping to own at least 25,000 units by then. Uh, and then we're not looking at, at, our, at us as only a real estate platform. I want to be a fully, you know, a conglomerate, which includes other industries as well. Mm. So whether that includes, you know, a tech component, like I said, you know, building your own software for property management, uh, having a healthcare division, uh, having some sort of a construction division where we're building single family homes or a new construction for apartments. Okay. Uh, that's in the pipeline. Uh, but ultimately, you know, we don't give ourselves target because we don't want to limit ourselves with targets. I would say we would love to be, you know, nationwide having a, f- you know, fully integrated construction company, which is building new apartment complexes, single family homes, a tech component and a healthcare component. I love that. That's I mean, with a whole new level. I mean, <laughs> software. I mean, th- that's that's one of the biggest things. I read an article, yeah. and the biggest things that small business owners fail to do is yes. innovate. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. We think we need to reinvent ourselves, but we really just need to keep innovating the businesses that we already have our yeah. hands. And technology you, plays a key role. You know, if you you go out to eat today anywhere, you're gonna check the ratings and reviews before you go anywhere. I mean, you go in Yelp, you go on Google, and in in our space, that's important too because. But traditionally, it was never the case because if you talk to people that have been doing this business for 20 plus years, they're looking at, you know, you see those sign flippers. Yeah. They're going, yeah. Mm-hmm. I said, you know, it's so old school, but I don't really know how many people will actually go in an apartment complex. Yeah, what's their return on that investment, right? Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, instead, I would focus on, you know, Facebook ad, Google AdWords, SEO, where this is where people are Googling, okay, best value for money apartment in Galleria or best va- apartments in West Chase. They want to see that our link coming up to the top, having the best pictures and having the best reviews, right? If you got the best reviews, you got the best pictures, you're automatically drawing that potential tenant base to come to your properties. And then having a great customer for s- customer service when somebody walks in, right? Making sure that you greet them with a smile, making sure you sh- your product shows well, right? It's just taking care of it's very simple needs. You know, if they have any work orders, making sure that you service them within 24 hours, right? A lot of people, you know, their roofs are leaking or they're, Appliance is not working, making sure you address them and make sure you fix it. So a lot of this, we are very tech, tech friendly. You know, in this space, we stopped accepting any payments on at the properties. We are completely online. You pay your rent with a credit card, through money order, through any big grocery store, or, or link your bank account. This never existed before, right? People are working nine to five. By the yep. time they come home, leasing office is closed. Mm-hmm. Here you can sit in the office and make your rent payment. Right, a lot of these things we do, uh, our reviews, ratings are probably the best in any, any com- compared to any community that surrounds our properties because we believe that if people like our communities, we try to get good ratings, good reviews from them because ultimately that's what sells to everybody else. Yeah. Right? Totally. Inconvenience. Absolutely. We will pay for convenience. Yes. Yeah. I don't have to write a check. <laughs> and testimonials are golden. I mean, they're golden, they're especially golden. when we can see uh, a history. It's sure. a proven history of those testimonies. Yes, absolutely. Sure. So, and you said nationwide. Have you ever considered spanning? I know, obviously, you you mentioned earlier off mic that you're from India. Have you ever thought about going back and doing anything there from a strategic perspective? Yes, absolutely. I think we, uh, as of now, we have offices in India that does a lot of our back back office accounting. Okay. Uh, Because it's fast. We get a 24-hour service. We go to sleep here. It's their day that starts, mm-hmm. and by the time we get back in the morning, a lot of the work is already done. Uh, in terms of owning assets and real estate, I've, we've explored in Europe, we've explored in, in India as well. Sure. Uh, that is in the works. Uh, again, a lot of great opportunities. It's just finding the time, mm. finding the people to do it. Yeah. Uh, but we're, um, you know, we're very fortunate that we have this platform now of 400 plus employees where a lot of ideas come and you just have people executing it sure. but again we have to pr- pick the top five priorities we have 20 ideas but let's focus on top five once they're done then we'll like, focus on the other 15. Mm, yeah all powered by the human capital that's yes. it that's so that's it. important when we allow people to show up as they are and give them a seat at the table i mean yes. you don't even want to talk about the impact to the bottom line absolutely yeah. Yeah. and it makes sense to be led at the helm mm. by someone with great vision absolutely. someone with great insight and someone with great care right care He's been talking about care the whole the time. The whole show. <laughs> like the, if people have really been paying attention, care. we have talked about care the entire show. So important. It is authentic care. But I've got one question. Here we go. Left for you. 
when it comes down to care, right? And I'm going to wrap this in. But where we are today and the vision you have for migrating nationwide at some point worldwide, let's erase that off the whiteboard in that conference room. Let's take, let's erase off the idea of building out the tech space and, and all the software associated. Let's erase off some of the last several thousands of units that you've picked up. Let's continue to erase off the whiteboard some of the positions that are even in that, that room that we're speaking about. Let's take out all 400 plus employees. Let's take you all the way back to that first conversation with that first investor with the idea and the gumption you had to bring this business to life. But let's slide you some additional seed money outside of what the investors are giving you, maybe an extra 500000 or so. How would you build the business this time around, having the same insight that you've had over the last X amount of years and all 15,000 units? How would you build that this time around that you didn't build it the first time with this additional seed money? What would you do differently? You know, I, it might sound funny to you guys, but I would not change a single thing about to how I started this business. Uh, again, I've been very fortunate, to be very honest. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything just fell in place. I understand there's a lot of entrepreneurs, and I, I meet and talk. So many people reach out to me now and seek advice and guidance and mentorship. And it's like, how do you do it? I mean, he, they've been trying for years and months, and they just can't do it. They can't get it off the ground. But if I had additional seed money and if I were to do it all over again, I would not change a single thing because if I, because of the lack of capital I had originally, mm -hmm. what it made me do is it made me do everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It made me sit at the properties. It <coughs> made me go in the rough part of town and trying to collect those rents scared for my life wearing a bulletproof jacket but I learned something right I here I was coming from a finance background sitting in a 50-story building you know and now here I am in a class D apartment complex dealing with a very rough tenant base and trying to collect rent but that's what gave me the confidence that I can do it that I can do if I can do it if I can turn this property around everything else is a piece of cake right so if I had additional money Initially, I would have hired more people, but I wouldn't be as successful now because mm. I would have hired people to do it for me. Yeah. I wouldn't have a good grasp of the business that I have now because I did everything yeah. from day one. Yeah. So that, that's my that. short answer. Yeah, we, 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 we've, we've gotten that we've a few gotten times, that, yeah. and that's important. You know, the, the part of, because that's the realization, is if, if I hire someone yeah. <clears throat> to do it, then how would I know it's being done effectively? Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, that, that is crazy. Great, and I'm. <laughs> I have to pause. It, <laughs> caught, it caught me off guard. Just a little bit. Me too. It caught me, me a little too. off guard. I was like, I look back. I was like, well, <laughs> that's a great response. And how do I roll to this? <laughs> so I'm know how do I go from that response of not wanting to change a thing mm -hmm. to what we need to do here. But what I want to say first and foremost is because you've toiled, because you've ventured through the mud. You've allowed the grit to propel you to where you are today. Absolutely. And you've been in every intertwined, what it sounds like, in every aspect of your business, which gave you the option and opportunity to properly, because a lot of people don't do it, mm. properly delegate and put the right people in the right positions. We would like to officially coin you, good sir, a startup master. Yay. Please let Thank anyone you. and everyone that's tuned in right now, whether they're listening to this in their car on SoundCloud, they're watching this at home on YouTube, let them know where they can reach you, ask you anything they need to get, you know, any contact information you have, please let's give it out, including your website. Uh, so our website is www.nithyacapital, N I T for Tom, Y A Capital. And our other website for the property management company is kariamanagement.com, K-A-R-Y-A. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Facebook. Uh, my personal email address is a.swapnil, S-W-A-P-N-I-L, at gmail.com. You, uh, you could reach me anytime on those 
Good deal. I hope everybody got that. Make sure you reach out to this young man because he's on fire. On fire. <laughs> KG, where can the good people reach you at, my dear? My good peeps, you can reach me at kogpassion.com. There you can you can follow me across all social media platforms, LinkedIn, for my YouTubers out there. I'm at KOG Speaks, as well as Instagram and the book. What about you, G? Anywhere online, folks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, at G Hawkins. That's G Hawkins with a Z. If you got any questions about what we do here at the network or at this show particularly, shoot us an email, startupmasters at thesphere.tv, or hit us across social media at thesphere.tv. Use our coveted hashtag startupmasters, and we will definitely get back with you. This has been another exciting episode. Another one. Another one. <laughs> we will see you all next time. Take care, folks. Peace. Thank you.